Greater sage grouse are fascinating creatures. They're the second largest game bird in all of North America. The only one larger is the wild turkey. The sage grouse are in trouble. Their futures, as well as those of many other species tied to the unique sagebrush ecosystem, depend on how well we protect their last remaining habitat. In the springtime, grouse gather on a dancing ground called a lek. Sometimes as many as 150 birds will strut and sing, putting on the best show they can to attract females. Out of all those roosters, only one or two will do 90% of the breeding that occurs there. All this takes place in the spring, from late March and into May. The vibrations and sounds of this dancing can be heard up to two miles away. All of this dancing causes the birds to lose a lot of weight, and they need to feed throughout the year on healthy vegetation to survive and get back in shape for the next spring breeding season. That requires healthy and undisturbed habitat. Energy and other threats have helped wipe out most of the healthy grouse habitat, and only about 10% of the historic population remains. Now the grouse, their leks, and the habitats of all kinds of western species are at further risk from energy development, unless it's done intelligently. New Audubon wildlife maps viewable on Google Earth clearly show areas of vital habitat for grouse and identified designated important bird areas as well. Helped by this kind of mapping, wildlife, energy, government, and other interests in Wyoming have pinpointed the core sage-grouse habitat where renewable energy shouldn't happen. And knowing that helps everyone focus on the much larger areas where wildlife and renewable energy might be compatible. We can have sage grouse, their leks, healthy birds, wildlife, and renewable energy too. It all starts by understanding what the heck's a lek and then planning to protect them as we give the green light to green energy.